Today on The Joy of Editing, I thought we'd have some fun. Let's create a dystopian city using Photoshop Beta's generative fill. This will be a lot of fun. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Are you ready to make a dystopian city? I thought this would be fun. Plus, it's a great way of seeing how we can create artistic style images right here in Photoshop Beta. So let's get started. Today, we'll be using Generative Fill as well as Generative Expand, which was just added to Photoshop. My last tutorial was all about Generative Expand. If you haven't seen that one, I'll link it at the end of this video for you. I'm starting out with with this blank transparent canvas and the size of this is 1408 by 1024 pixels and that's the same size as Firefly uses when they send you back a landscape image. I'm just going to click cancel here for now. But to create your own, all you need to do is come up here to File and click on New. Now I have some uh, presets saved out, so I'm going to go to Saved. And I'll be using this one right here, Landscape Gen Fill, this preset I made. And you'll notice it's 1408 by 1024 high. And the resolution is 72 pixels per inch. It's in 16-bit. And I have my color mode set for RGB. And then just click Create. But you could type any number you want in these fields, but these are the numbers I recommend for a landscape because that's what Firefly uses, and then click Create. But you can come up here and click this button, give your preset a name, and save that out as a preset, and then under Save, those presets will be there for you. So that's really handy. For now, I'm just going to close this. Now, if you'll notice, I have my contextual taskbar up here. Now, you can grab this and move this anywhere you want. But if you click the three dots and click pin bar position, it'll stay where you put it. If you're not seeing this contextual taskbar, just come up here to window and make sure you have contextual taskbar checked on. That's very important. So for now, what I need to do is select my entire canvas. So I'm just going to do a command or control A to select the canvas. When I do this generative fill comes up and I'm going to type in fantasy, put a comma, dystopian city in ruins. And I'll just click generate. Now I'm not going to make you wait for this. So in a sec, you'll see what result I get. Now that takes about 20 to 25 seconds, but already it's looking pretty cool, right? So there's one version. You always get three versions. Here's the first. Here is the second. Oh, I really like that one. And here is the third. You just never know what you're going to get here. I do like that one as well, but which one do we like the best? I think I'm going to go with this one. I like all this glowing light happening back in here, but we're going to build upon this. We're not done. Okay, now for step two, I'm going to grab my crop tool. I'm just typing C, and you'll notice it says generative expand here, and you have ratio there, and you can also get your ratio here. I already have up a three by two ratio, so I'm going to use that, and I'm just going to expand this out. And let's see, where do I want to place my city? I think right here, because I want to do something down in this area. I think I'll put that right there in that third and click on generate and see what we get. Okay, that's kind of interesting. We got some water, some reflections here. Let's see what the second one looks like. Okay, another, that one's pretty cool. And let's try a third one. Okay, so we have water here. Hmm. What if I didn't want water? Let me see what would happen if I would type. I'll go over right here in the properties and type. Uh, ruins. I'll click generate and see what we get. Okay, now that's a little more like it. Let's try the next version. And uh, we got some more water again. And I kind of like this, a little bit of water over in here. And we got the ruins here. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this one. Now at this point, you know, because I have all these images here and that takes up some space. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click on here and click flat. And I'm just going to go ahead and flatten this out. And next, I'm going to grab the Remove tool, the new Remove tool. And what I'll do is clean anything up that I don't like. Like, I'm going to paint over this right here. I don't like this light area right here. So I'll paint over that. This little light right here coming through, I don't like that. I'll get rid of that. Uh, there's a little thing right here. I'll just click on that. Anything else? Hey, let me know if you see anything else. Uh, maybe right here. I'll just, yeah, look at that. Look how it fills that in. Really cool, right? All right, and right up here, I'm going to get rid of that. I think I like that. Okay, that's good enough for now. Everything else looks pretty good. Now, let's think about adding some elements to this. I'll go ahead and grab my lasso tool. I'll just type L. That's a shortcut. And right in this area, 
I'm going to put in some like old crates. So I'll come up here to generative fill and type in old crates, old ruined crates. And we'll click generate and see what we get. Okay, now that's really cool. And I like the how it's really dark here and that little bit of light on the top. So there's one version. Here's another version. That's got some fire coming through. It looks like a building, so that's not cool. Let's try the last one. Now that one's kind of interesting, but I think I like the first one. But don't forget, you can click generate again and generate three more versions. But I do like this. I think I'll put a rat because a dystopian city in ruins needs a rat, doesn't it? So let's put a rat here. But before I do the rat, let's put some people here staring at the city in ruins. So I'm just going to lasso an area right around in here like this and click on generative fill and people staring at city. And we'll click on generate and see what we can come up with. Okay, there's one version. Let's try another one. That's kind of nice. They're silhouetted. I don't like that. Let's generate again and let's see if we can get three more. Okay, this guy doesn't have any legs. Let's try another one. That one's not bad. Let's try a third. I kind of like this one. You know, the, it's very artistic looking. I think I'll go with that. Now, we could just keep generating away and see what we could come up with. But let's leave it like this for now. I'm going to go ahead. And I like everything so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and flatten again just to save space. So I'm just going to flatten the image. I haven't forgot about the rat. But I think I want some old boxes in this area right here. So let me just go like this. And what can I put here? How about torn up cardboard boxes? And we'll click on generate. Okay, that's interesting. Here's another version. Nah, I don't like that one. That's pretty cool. Let's generate three more. Okay, I like this over here. I think that looks pretty cool. Now, here's the next version and the last version. Okay, so I think I like the first version. Let's go back to the first version. I do like that. I don't like what's happening in here, but let's see what we can do to fix this. To remove this, I'm just going to go grab the remove tool. Now, you can just type J. That would be the shortcut. If it was the last remove tool you use, type J. And now you'll notice, you see that little circle with the line saying you can't use the remove tool. So what you need to do is place a blank pixel layer above here and make sure you have sample all layers checked on. And I have mine set to remove after each stroke. So with a decent sized brush, I'm just going to go ahead and paint over this area right in here and see if the remove tool can remove that. Let's see what it does. Yeah, and it gets rid of that right there. And this little light here, I don't think light area, I don't think I like that. So I'm going to see if I can get rid of that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And this little thing here, I'm going to get rid of. This little brown spot here, I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so I'm cool. I think it looks cool, and I don't like that little thing sticking out there. So right now, I think I'm looking pretty cool. I like these elements in here. And uh, let's see, what else can we do here? Let me go back to the lasso tool. I'll just type L, and I'm going to go ahead and right in this area here, let me see if I can put an old wrecked car. So let me come up and click on generate and old wrecked car and click on generate and see what we can get. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Let's try the second version. Oh, I do like that. And here is the third. I don't like that one. That one's not bad. Let's generate three more, see what we get. Okay, that's pretty nice. Let's try the next version. That one's not bad either. Let's try this version. You know what? I think I like this version here. Now, again, I'm just going to go ahead and flatten because I like everything. But you could keep this in layers if you want to. But I want to save space. Now I can right click and come to flatten. Or with my TK9 plugin for Photoshop, I can just click this flatten button, which is a lot quicker. So I'm just going to use that. So now it's flattened. And I haven't forgot about my rats, but I'm saving those till last. But right up in here, let's try like a helicopter in the sky. I'm just going to get a rough shape of a helicopter. I don't know if that's right, but we'll just type in helicopter. Hopefully I'm spelling this right, and I'll click on generate and see what we get. Okay, that's a weird looking helicopter. Let's try another version. Okay, this helicopter is falling apart here. Okay, I do like this one. I think I'm going to go with this one. Uh, let's generate three more just for the heck of it, see what we get. But I like this one. Okay, interesting. Here's another one. That one's weird. That one's interesting. You know what? I'm going to go back to, I think, this one right here. I'll go with this one. I'll go ahead and flatten again. And again, you don't have to flatten if you don't want to. And now with my lasso tool, I'm going to go right here. We're going to type in large rat and click generate. See if we can get a large rat. 
Okay, that's a light rat. I don't like it as much. It's too light. How about a large dark rat? Click on generate. See if that works better. Now that looks cool. Let's try another one. There we go. Yeah, that one's in. It's too cute for my scene. Okay, I kind of like that. Let's check this first one out here. Hmm, I don't know. Let's do three more, see what we get. Okay, again, too cute. That's pretty cool. And again, too cute. Okay, right there. I'm going to go with that one. It's not perfect, but you get the idea, right? And how about another rat down here? And again, another large dark rat. And I'll type return this time. Okay, and he's in the shadow. That looks really nice. Let's try another version. That one's not bad either. That one's too, I don't know, the ears are too light. I think I like the first one. Yeah, he's kind of dark and mysterious. I think I'll go with that one. Maybe put another rat over here. Got to have a lot of rats. I'll just do large, dark rat. And we'll generate one more, and hopefully that rat will be going in the right direction. Ah, there we go. That's one. Here's another one. Okay, more of a silhouetted rat. I kind of like this one. Very mysterious looking. All right, I'm going to go ahead and flatten this one more time and grab my remove tool because this thing right back here doesn't look right. So I'm just going to get rid paint over that, get rid of that. And this little line coming down here, I don't like that. And this is okay. Let's check the image size. Let's come up here to image. We can come here to image size and we can see this is 2463 by 1642. I'm just going to click cancel. Now, if I want to print this out, I would have to upsize this. And if you have Topaz Gigapixel AI, what you can do is you can come up here to file, come down to automate, come down and click on Topaz Gigapixel AI. That'll launch Gigapixel and then we can upsize this. I usually use low res and I make sure I have the settings toggled on. So just toggle the settings on and you can see this is suggesting this amount of remove blur, which I think looks really good. Now, I'm upsizing right now two times. This image now is a 4926 by 3248. If we go to 4X, it will now be a 9852 by 6556. So we could print out a nice big print from this. So I'm going to go ahead and upsize it four times. Click Apply. And then it'll send it back into Photoshop. And now here we are in Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead with this button right here on my TK9 combo panel and fit this to screen. And now I'll just type F two times so we can see this and really get a look at it. I'll make it a little bit larger so we can take a look. So there it is. Here's my dystopian city in ruins. Got some people. We got some rats. We got a helicopter, an old crash car. Well, there it is. It's a lot of fun to create here right in Photoshop beta with generative fill and now with generative expand. Well, there it is, everyone. By the way, this was the image that I created first when I was preparing to make this tutorial. So you can see it's a little different looking, but it's a lot of fun to create here right in Photoshop Beta. Hey, if you enjoyed today's tutorial, and if you want to see more of these, let me know in the comments section below. But if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell notification icon so you can get a reminder every time I upload a new tutorial. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.